everybody! Today I am here and I am talking about foundation garments, which are the garments that you wear underneath your clothing. And this is something that you gals that wear vintage clothing and garments ask me about all the time because there are certain foundation garments that go with certain things a little bit better than others. So I'm going to kind of take you through my personal collection of my favorite things and tell you how I wear them. So to start with, um, my first thing that I have is actually not vintage. It is this by Victoria's Secret. And this is just kind of a, um, a body shaper that you wear underneath your clothing. I actually bought this to wear under my wedding dress because the um, waist cincher that I had was too boned and you could see it through my wedding dress. So this is a really good thing to have if you have garments that are really tight fitting or really thin and you can see lumps and bumps from your undergarments underneath. That's why I like that it has the thong built in so you can still wear underwear but you're not seeing lines from anything under there. So the next garment I have is Inside Out, and this is also by Victoria's Secret. I guess this is kind of more like a waist cincher because it is boned. So it's a little bit more structured than this little guy. This guy is just very flexible. You can roll it all, you can throw it at somebody if you want to, um, especially if the thong's been up your butt all day. Super awesome. So if you can see, this has front panel stitching on it and that keeps your tummy nice and flat. And then it has a little bit of boning in the front and on the side, so it kind of gives you more of an hourglass shape. The only downside to this versus this is that this kind of digs in. So if you have a little bit of a bubble butt like I do, this is pretty long and it kind of digs into into your butt and so you'll see a little bit of a crease underneath your garment. So that is why I like the one with the thong built in. So next on my list is this little waist cincher. And this is a rago cincher. And if you guys saw my wedding undergarments video, you saw that I was wearing a white rago cincher in that video. I have had this thing for almost 10 years and it is still going strong. Rago is a really, really great company for undergarments. This is boned in panels all the way around, as you can see. And if you can see the lines here, that's what goes on your waistline and really sucks your waist in. So this sucker is great for making your waist a lot smaller without doing kind of the heavy duty -ness that the corsets do, so you can actually still breathe when you're wearing these. And this one has garter straps attached, which are a detachable, which is really nice. And I like that you just you just snap it in the front versus having to lace it up in the back. So it's, this one is a little bit more user friendly than a corset. This type of cincher is what I wear pretty much under everything. If I if it's not this, it's this, and this is what I wear under most of my vintage pieces, pieces that are cotton or that don't have any stretch to them, I always wear this underneath it because it really helps to cinch in your waist. But like I said, they're wearable and they're comfortable, so you can wear them all day long. So that brings us to the dreaded corset. I'm not exactly sure who makes this one. I bought this one off of a Facebook group. But your best corsets are going to be steel boned. So as you can see, this right here is a piece of steel and it doesn't move very much. You're also gonna have little um, clasps in the front and then you're gonna have your lacing in the back. So if you really wanna know how to wear a corset, Orchard Corsets has a really great FAQ on their website and it talks to you about seasoning corsets, getting corsets to fit right for your body, especially if you guys are into waist training, which I am not, I do not have the time or the patience for that and I also find them extremely uncomfortable. My ribs kind of poke out this way, so when I wear a corset for too long, it really starts to hurt and it makes it hard for me to breathe. And I know that corsets aren't supposed to make you make it hard to breathe, but it's just my anatomy it makes it difficult for me to wear corsets under everything. But if you have the right anatomy where a corset works for you and you would like to waist train, I think it's amazing. And corsets are also really great, especially if you're doing like a photo shoot and you're not wearing something for very long and you want the tiniest waist you can possibly have, a corset is great. I like waist cinch corsets that are just kind of an underbust because they're only going, this is the part that goes over your hip. So they're only going to right here, so you're not gonna see them underneath your garments. They're not the long ones that are gonna cut in down here. And they're also still not gonna smash your boobs. And if you don't know how to lace it up yet, recruit a friend because these can be pretty tricky to lace in the back if you're doing it on your own. So that brings us to girdles. And these are the pieces I have that are vintage and I love them. So this is a closed leg girdle. So as you can see, it has a little crotch panel and it fits kind of like really tight bicycle shorts. It does also have the panel in the front that smooths your tummy. That's pretty much the point of any sort of shaper or girdle is to pull in your waist and flatten your stomach. So the more that a girdle has right here, the more it's gonna do to flatten your tummy. You also want to make sure that you don't get the elastic too tight up here because if you do with a girdle versus 
like a shaper, this is gonna go all the way up to your bust line and hold everything in. This is only going to go to about right here, so if the elastic is too tight, you're gonna have that weird muffin top. So you wanna make sure that it really does fit, but that it's tight enough to squeeze everything in. Um, this one also has detachable garter straps, so you can wear it with or without, which I really love. This is another vintage girdle I have. This sucker, it's from the 50s, and it is super, I mean, it's still, the elastic in it is like it was built yesterday. You can see all the crisscrossies in it. It's really made to smooth your tummy. It also has garter straps, but these ones are not detachable, which is kind of a bummer. But I only really wear these under circle dresses anyways, so you don't even have to really wear stockings with them. So another thing that I really love is a shaper that has a bra built into it. This one particularly I like because it has a tummy panel. A lot of the time that you get these bras um, with a shaper built into it, they'll end about right here, and then you get the, mu the muffin bottom where it kind of bloop out the bottom. So I like that this has the front panel, but I also like that it doesn't go down in the back. So right here, it just gives you that natural shape and then you have your, your pretty sweet booty instead of it coming down here and then cutting off your butt. I think that's the worst, especially uh, I wear a lot of pencil dresses and tight dresses and I do kind of have a bubble butt. So if I have anything that goes down over my butt, you always see that line of whatever garment I'm wearing. So I like these that are cut low in the front and then high in the back so that they don't cut off your, your butt. Also, this has a little bit of padding, which is nice. It's nice when you have a garment that is built all in one because what this part of it is going to do is it's going to flatten everything and push everything up. So by the time it gets to your boobs, it's going to be really flattering and it's going to give you that really nice cleavage. Versus if you're wearing two separate pieces, sometimes what happens is if I'm wearing this piece down here and then a bra up here, this part right here, skin will squish out and then it'll pinch it and that is not fun and not comfortable. Which brings us to bras. I know a lot of girls like to wear strapless with their vintage garments or their pinup garments. The one strapless bra I have that is modern is this. It's by Victoria's Secret. This is their convertible bra and it goes um, multi ways. You can wear your straps any which way. But I do like this bra because if you do have larger boobies like C's and D's um, on that scope of larger, I'm not talking like F's or H's. Those are tough to accommodate a strapless bra. But if you do have this size, this bra will actually stay up, which is hard to find if you have a larger cup size. So I do like this bra, but the one downside is that it does not have a vintage shape to it. It's round, the cups are rounded, which is a very modern thing. So if you're wearing a vintage dress, most of the time the cups in the dress are going to be pointed, especially if you're wearing like a bathing suit or um, something that's really molded and fitted, it's gonna be pointy. So this bra, which I also showed in my wedding undergarments video, is by Her Room, and Her Room is a really great website for vintage style foundation garments. They have things, they have pretty much everything that you need, and they also go up to really large sizes. So for you gals that are busty, it is a great site for you. So this is just a full coverage bra, and it is cone shape. Da, 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 da. So this is great for those vintage outfits. It also has some boning in the front to keep the shape of the bra, which is rad. I actually tailored it to fit me because it was too big around the back, so I don't know exactly what brand it is, but it is from her room. So then I have a couple of actual vintage bras. This is just a normal over-the-shoulder bullet bra, and this is really great, like I said, for those vintage garments that have those pointy busts because they are like va boom they point out there. One thing you can get if you find that your actual, like your real boobs don't fill these in very well, if you don't have those pointy Madonna-shaped boobs, you can get foam cones that go in the end of these bras, and that will fill in just the end, and then your boobs will fill in up to the rest. So it'll keep the, the bra looking more natural and you won't have weird dents or anything in them. Another type of vintage bra that I have is this, which is a over bust underwire. So it's an over wire. So this right here is the wire. There's no wire under here. So you wear it like this. And the benefit of this is if you can see, this part right here is open. So if you're wearing anything with any sort of plunging neckline, this is great. And it's also, really low in the back. So if you have anything that is cut low, 
this is awesome for that too. I also find that these bras are just amazing for photo shoots because they're very kind of sexy, especially with all of this little detail and stuff. But these bras are great. These are definitely for girls with smaller busts because like I said, the wire goes over the top of your boobs instead of underneath, so there's not a lot of support. And then my fun secret weapon, which isn't gonna be a secret anymore because I'm telling you guys right now, is my chicken cutlet bra. Yay! These suckers are amazing. They are called chicken cutlets because, hey, they look like chicken cutlets. Um, there's a little snap in the middle and they're sticky. So basically, you stick them onto your boobs and then clasp them in the middle and it pulls your boobs together. But these are great to wear under things um, like a bathing suit or a corset top or a bustier top that has a really low cut back where you can't really wear a bra. But it does offer a little bit of support. It helps with a little bit of padding and it helps to fill in the shape of some of those really puffy vintage things. And for you gals with smaller chests, it's just good to add a little bit of bulk to what you got going on. <laughs> That's good, I like that. So the last thing I have, which is a very important foundation garment, is a crinoline or a petticoat, depending on what part of the world you're from. But you want to get one that has lots of fluff to it. It's going to feel huge and crazy until you put your dress on. If it doesn't have enough fluff to it, it's just going to deflate when you get that heavy skirt over the top of it. One thing also is you always want to store your crinolines in a drawer or a box or somewhere where it's not hanging because if it hangs, it's going to deflate the puffiness of it. The, the weight of it is just going to make it a little bit skinnier. So storing it is definitely one of the most important parts of this. But if you have a dress with a full circle skirt, you always want a crinoline underneath it to keep that shape. And a really great place to get crinolines is Unique Vintage, which is where I got most of mine. I actually live down the street from their store, but you can get them online from them too and they do different lengths as well. Um, if you want the length that is below the knee, that's called T length. So that's it, that's my foundation garments. Hopefully you guys found this useful. That's it, I hope you had fun watching me put stuff on my boobs all day. I know I did. I will see you guys in the next one. Me too. <laughs>